back to Indie Buffet. Today we're looking at Red Rogue. This is a fairly minimalistic roguelike. I wouldn't really say it's it's got too much uh, going on for it um, in terms of you know regular regular roguelikey stuff. It is procedurally generated. Combat is handled pretty much just by running into enemies, as you can see there. And there's our HP, as you can see on the side. And we also have this weird skeleton companion that follows us around. And the sound effects are pretty cool. And the music is fairly stock standard. I wouldn't really write home about it, but it's a neat idea. I like roguelikes. It's a lot of blood. It's kind of grossly cute and disgusting. There are traps, which can uh, be kind of a bummer. I'm making sure we killed everything. There we go. And we level up, kind of, you know, Highlander-esque -esque style. And you can see those traps on the ground there uh, will put us back at the start. So there's almost like a puzzly aspect to it. The orcs will do some damage. The minions don't do, do any. It almost feels a little like, oop, like Dark Souls. Let's avoid uh, the orc. And our skeleton minion will uh, give us XP as well. So we're going to go and beat up this orc and hopefully have enough. There's also trolls, uh, liches, and we leveled up. And our minion is still alive. But it can die. So we can pick up a top hat. And um, I'm not exactly sure how the game wants you to equip stuff. Because the, the controls are fairly simple WASD to move. Um, or the arrow keys if you are so inclined. So. Wants us to find a key. So we will continue to go and uh, look for our key. I like roguelike games. This is, I guess, one of them. There we go. And let's get back and, and punch you in the face, please. How do we get there? I... I want to get this minion. There we go. I think it's cool! I, I, I can't say much more. The art's obviously minimalistic. Everything about this game kind of strikes of, of minimal, minimalism, and that's fine. I like minimalistic style games. Um, there's no jumps, so I don't really know how they want us to get across those areas. It's bloody. It's cute in, in that sort of way. It, it appeals to me on, on, on that level. We need another key. It's definitely not going to, um, you know, take over for the Binding of Isaac for me or anything like that, but it's it's definitely got some appeal, and I I look forward to seeing what they decide to do. Oh, see, there's a key. Let's see if we can uh, work our way back. And you can see on the top, we do actually have what I guess passes as a uh, as a map, although it's I think relatively difficult to uh, to follow and read. And maybe that's okay. Also, the, the minions seem to throw things. Okay, so that is the end. Let's see if we go down to the next level and see some trolls. Maybe see a... I don't know if there's intended to be a boss, but there's really no tutorial. There is some lore to this game, but I didn't really um, <clears throat> pay attention to it. So, so let's just uh, see if we can't... Uh, oh, we're on to the next area, I guess. This is the first the furthest I've ever gotten. Uh, the game the game definitely lives up to the roguelikiness in that it's it's quite uh, quite difficult. But I, I like how it's all presented. It's, it almost reminds me of the old muds with the text. And I whoa and I do like how there are kind of cinematic deaths. Whoa that was a, uh, a teleport of some variety. There we go. And things are definitely getting higher level, if level is a proper term. We became a vampire. Werewolf tamed by rogue. Falls to the werewolf curse. 
That's cool. I, I, I like how it kind of expands. I think that's really cool. Werewolf tamed by... And I, I like how there's now this kind of wolfy style sound. Please die, thank you. Oh. And we're dead. Well, that is Red Rogue. I would suggest giving it a try. I think it's pretty clever and cute. Um, and see how far you guys can get. I definitely approve. It's a, it's a neat little bite-sized roguelike, and what more can you want?